The idea that all life is a story told is a very old one. Yes, the story distracts, <laughs> takes us out of ourselves, entertains, as we say. But there is more to it than that. When once the story has begun, we listeners find ourselves in an eternal present. The time in the story goes beyond, far beyond, the time of the telling. Reproduction makes the meaning of works of art ambiguous. This is not as negative as it necessarily sounds if we realize what is happening. What it means, in theory, is that reproduction of works of art can be used by anybody for their own purposes. Images can be used like words, we can talk with them. Reproduction should make it easier to connect our experience of art directly with other experiences. There, everything belongs to the same visual language used for describing or used recreating for describing experience. Or recreating it's a reproduction of works of art used can be used. Describing Images can be used, used like words we can talk with or recreating experience. same time, the dream of a far away place, to allow one's thoughts to pass through the light of the window. The more monotonous the present, the more the imagination must seize upon the future. The passivity of the present is then replaced by the activity of an imaginary future, to travel elsewhere. Distances without horizons. Such images do not only happen in art, they can happen in anyone's soul. The word soul is taboo, but the soul is what pierces time. And people go on loving in the very face of mortality. The meaning of an image can be changed according to what you see beside it, or what comes after it. This meaning is liable to be manipulated and transformed. It's no longer a constant. It's changed by the camera which moves, by music played over it. There is nothing spontaneous, nothing natural about human desires. Our desires are artificial. We have to be taught to desire. Cinema is the ultimate pervert art. It doesn't give you what you desire. It tells you how to desire.
Sometimes this reality and this unreality confront each other and then we are faced by a contrast which is incomprehensible. People, as they pass one another, exchange glances and some of their glances check whether the others are envisaging the same thing when they say to themselves, so this is life. Images can be used like words, we can talk with them. There is such a tangle of times contained within this picture that it is impossible to place the moment portrayed. Where is it? It is a moment beyond the time of clocks or calendars. And one would feel a kind of pity for somebody who therefore said, it is less real. People talk about the freshness of vision, the intensity of seeing for the first time, but the intensity of seeing for the last time is greater. Yes, the story distracts, takes us out of ourselves, entertains as we say. The idea that all life is a story told is a very old 